Yes, with regards to Ukrainian grain exports. And isn't this an overreaction on the downside by the market? Because uh, in terms of the blockade, it's only going to be lifted if Russia gets some sanctions relief. Putin wants to know what's in it for me. So there's no guarantee that that is going to happen. Sri, you're 100% right. You should be a grain trader. Um, Because what we're basically seeing is the market's under pressure. Also note, we do have some liquidity issues. Liquidity is very tight, so the moves are exaggerated. But there's nothing telling us that Russia will allow this to come through. They will use this as a bargaining chip to allow to to get grain uh, shipped out. That bargaining chip, if they don't get what they want, they won't. So we actually feel that grain prices will start to head back up <clears throat> perhaps in the next next week, next two weeks. Uh, that said, let's look at this glass half full. Uh, President Putin has said that mm. Russia is ready to facilitate unhindered exports of grain from Ukrainian ports yeah. in coordination with uh, Turkey. Does that give you any grounds for optimism that Turkey is involved yeah. in this process and negotiation? It does. It, we're, we're, it does give us a level of, of comfort. But I think at the end of the day, you know, we've seen Russia do a lot, but they, they haven't come up with a lot. I think that they understand that the price of wheat is going to, at these levels, remember it's up around about 65% on the year, will have drastic effects to all economies. And there are major issues that we see. So Russia, if she doesn't behave, will be seen as, as more of a, a concerned nation. And I feel with that, you're going to see more sanctions come in. But I do think that Russia, even if they try and leverage off the Turkey, will try to do something. But there's still a lot of lot of talk that's going to be needed to be done in order to get those shipments happening. Yeah, John, great to see you again. And welcome back. So, you know, Russia's track record. I mean, you know, if, if we can't trust them to let people leave Mariupol, uh, right, Ukrainians yeah. leave Mariupol, I don't know how much we can trust them to let uh, Ukrainian wheat uh, get through uh, to the Black Sea for for export. That's one thing. Two, in terms Mm. of the Ukraine uh, harvest itself, the one coming up, we've got estimates saying that the harvest uh, production could be down by a third this year because, obviously, fighting is still going on. I mean, it's pretty tough to be, I was going to say it's tough to be a farmer, but it's tough to basically be a Ukrainian right now. Well, uh, Martin, absolutely. And these are some of the big issues because... You know, you're trying to get uh, crop off the paddock. You've got high prices. You've, you've, you've got one eye on the war and one eye what you're doing. You've also got major issues with fertilisers. Fertiliser prices are up around about 100% plus. So, so it is a big issue across the board. In fact, locally, some farmers are even thinking that they're not going to put crops in. Australia's a major exporter, Ukraine's a major exporter, and this will just continue to underpin the price of wheat staying at these levels to me, which is a real concern. Hi, I'm Emily Tan, and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.